Hi guys welcome to my channel. If you blocking a low move that cannot be launched then doing parry is the best option. You can do punish with increased damage. Let's see which combo suits you well. You can add death fist in that by back sway cancel to increase damage. If you are having difficulties with QCF1 chain then you can add one in between. A lot options you can explore but finding high damage and easy to execute is the main goal. Lot of combos you can make but going to 40 plus damage is the best from here. For 40 damage this one is great. Easy to execute. And that is a good wall carry combo too. If you are good at back sway cancel to death fist then you can make great damage. Otherwise at wall less damage from low parry combos. For 40 damage this one is easy to use and good wall carry. For increasing damage you have to do some difficult things. Like triple forward 2. Or QCF1 chains. Or you can use down forward 4 instead. Death Fist will also do the same damage like Demo Man in this combo. If you use down forward 4 instead of QCF1 it decreases 2% damage but easy to use. Adding simple 1 to that combo gives 1% more damage. And it will be easy to do demo man there. And adding down forward 4 will give maximum damage that is 47 till now. But that is hard to do perfectly. For ease you can go for down forward 4 instead. Doing while standing 1-2 to sway cancel is easy here. Can give you 42 damage. Or you can do that combo here triple forward 2 becomes easy if you do too many hits. Or if you can do while standing 3 easily then this is the perfect 43 damage combo for you. Some moves can give you resetting options if you like. If you see wall near then you can use these examples according to the situation. Back 1 2 and 2 3 should be in mind while doing that. Both are giving same damage. And try to make combo according to the distance so you can get perfect wall splat. If we talk about using heat smash and heat dash to low parry combos. I think that's not good. I tried a lot of options but from low parry you cannot do high damaging combos even using heat. But if necessary in match or near to KO then can go for it. Even doing longer difficult combos give around 40 to 50 damage. But using only heat smash is better so you can use heat moves in follow up attacks. And yes a little better damage and ease too. You can also go for using down forward 4 at the end and try to catch opponent for further attacks. So that's for today try to use these combos and share results. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.